For Krimo Media's policy, I'm Tabi Shomolikai. Joining me today is researcher and analyst Professor Raymond Sadna, here to unpack his column titled How and Why I Plan to Support the Government of National Unity, Part 1. Welcome, Raymond. Thank you very much. So were you not over optimistic about the prospects that the government of national unity held out? Well, I wrote this two months ago, and uh, I do think I may have been over optimistic. Uh, but you see, for example, the sort of way type of people and organizations that form the GNU are not ones in many respects that win, win respect. However, they have done, some of them have done very good things. The Minister of Home Affairs, for example, Minister of Police, Senzo Mkunu, and others have done, Minister of Basic Education, seem to me to have got to work in a very systematic way. That's not everyone. I just, I don't have a list in front of me, but many of them have come with fresh approaches, systematic approaches, and with ways of showing the public, I don't think that's necessarily the intention, showing the public that they will do the work that is required of them. In the beginning, I think some of the remarks of ANC people were rather patronizing that these people must wait and see as to all fit in with this and fit in with that. The thing is, these people are doing work. They studied their portfolio and they've got down to work. And that is what we haven't seen for a long time. You still have some passengers on the GNU. You have some people who have a sort of disreputable record or a record of alleged corruption. I don't know why they are there. I think some of these people needed some justification or explanation from President Ramaphosa. We never got that. If one looks at the period since they have been appointed, I do think that my optimism was justified compared with what we had before. We have something fresh. I would never have thought I would be saying these things about um, DA people and things like that. But these people are working. They're doing it very well. And I think uh, there's less arrogance. They are arrogant. But in this context, they are much less arrogant than some of the ANC people have been. Well, with respect to, uh, with the exception, of uh, Helen Zillow, who outside every now and again says things which disrupt things. But in general, they are taking it very seriously, and that's good. And there have been very significant levels of dissatisfaction from the ANC's alliances, the SACP and COSATU, over the government of national unity and the place of the DA allegedly being the dominant. So do you think the GNU relationship will withstand these pressures? Well, you know, these statements of the the SACP and the and COSATU, mostly the SACP, I thought that the Sol, Solima Paila was a serious guy, but what he was saying was a lot of cliches about and neoliberalism, this and neoliberalism, that, and that in fact, it's a DA, GNU. I think there's a failure to take account of the weight of political forces when the ANC only gets 40% of the vote. In fact, it has more seats in the government of national unity than its voting uh, results warrant. And the DA, interestingly, was willing to accept that because they recognize that this is the only way forward at the moment. In that article to which you refer, I refer to the markets and stability. Now, I would never talk like that before. 
But what I've come to realize is ideology is one thing, but the national debt, inflation, stability of the country, this is a very unstable country. Economically, it's unstable, partly because of the inequalities, partly because there's been a lack of confidence in the economy for investors to invest. And the markets, for what that phrase is worth, but I think it's worth more than I used to think, the markets favoured an alliance between the DA and the ANC. And personally, at this point in time, I would like to see stability. And SACP and COSATU want to see a neoliberalism, uh, banished and socialism come. I just think it's a long way off for the arrival of socialism. We must deal with the here and now, and the here and now needs stability. And lastly, Raymond, it remains unclear why you support the GNU and what you see coming out of it that is positive. I was going far by saying I support it because I'm not actually in touch with them. I'm not doing anything other than that article. However, as I said, it's the only show in town. These other characters, the EFF and the MK party, they're not really offering something serious in in its, its uh, revolutionary phrases, not plans for the future. As I see it, the only plans for the future in which one can realistically have confidence are those of the GNU. I'm not a great admirer of people in the GNU, although there are some I do admire, not only from the ANC, as you've seen, but uh, I believe that we need stability, we need this country to get on on track. The inflation rates are lower than they've been for about three, four years. The growth rates are improving slowly. Unemployment is still bad, but I think uh, there is some hope with this. And I grounded a lot of what I said on hope. Hope means uncertainty. Uncertainty means there are possibilities for things to go one way or the other. We need to make it go in one way which secures our well-being. And that's why I think the best hope is in the GNU. That was Professor Raymond Satna speaking to Criminal Media's Polity about why I plan to support the Government of National Unity Part 1.